in my interpretation, uh, make laws and rules for the, cover the government of the country. They vote on what the House of Parliament have voted on, right? Yeah. Parliament makes up a bill, then they send it off to the House of Lords for approving. I know their, I suppose, usefulness is open to debate. Then they will see what's wrong with it and um, they'll send it back with improvements. It's just a, a, a memory of, of privilege and, 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 and history and has no, no real role in modern government. And they'll send it back and it'll go back and forward, back and forward, till the Queen will approve it. Uh, we have two houses, so it's like a stopgap between a law becoming a law, basically. So that we can get a fairer kind of judge of the laws and stuff like that. Say, for example, House of Parliament voted on something that the public don't want. The House of Lords are there to decline or accept. Having a second look at legislation before it becomes law is important. Uh, so there should be a second chamber, but it should be elected. Possibly um, something that could be developed, changed or made more modern. I think if the public were to make these decisions then it would be like another voting thing. I think that would be good because more people will get involved in it and then they'll have more of a public background. There are some good people in the House of Lords uh, but they have not got there through elections so their legitimacy to make laws is highly questionable. In my view it is illegitimate. I think I've come to trust um, polit um, career politicians uh, less and less and so really if people have got experience and um, have shown themselves worthy citizens and, and have expertise then I've changed my mind and I think it's probably a good thing.